With short answer, what if I don't understand the text I'm given? What do I do? That's actually a really good question. So if you guys don't understand the particular short answer question you're looking at, it doesn't mean you have to get zero. This is the mistake a lot of students make. They freak out in there and they go, oh my gosh, this, this text is just not clicking. I'm not digesting it. Maybe it's because you're stressed that you're not able to actually properly read the text itself. Like the words just aren't going in. Don't worry, I've been in that situation. Um, you, you, it doesn't mean you get zero. It does if you let if you let it. It does if you're like, oh, I, I don't understand the text. I'm going to leave this. Don't leave the answer, okay? What you do is you try and find individual sentences that make sense. So don't worry if the whole text doesn't make sense. If it's a, if it's a poem, for instance, that just isn't clicking, find a line of a poem that you can roughly translate and you go, okay, I get what that line's saying. It's like, okay, well, let me just focus on that. Find a technique in that line and find a link between that line and the question. Just find one link. You just need to find one connection and just do that three times if it's like a four marker or two times if it's a three marker. Because for a three marker, you only need two pieces of analysis plus a topic sentence. In terms of what your topic sentence is and the ideas that you talk about, you just base it on the individual sentences that make some sense to you. So hopefully you're reading through a text, you know, you're not understanding it, but at least you can like zoom in on a couple of lines at the start of it, the middle and the end. I, I sometimes just focus on the start and the end, right? And I just try and find a couple of sentences that, that make sense. Um, or if, especially if it's a really long text, I just zoom in on the first paragraph and the last paragraph. And then I find a couple of sentences that make sense. And I go, okay, what kind of technique is in there? What technique is in there? How can I link them to the question in some way? And you'll be surprised how well you could go just doing that, okay? The mark is not gonna know that you didn't understand the whole text, as long as you have a clear connection between those quotes that you have used and the words of the question, okay?